strong. All right, we got this unit right here. You saw the video, 15 by 15, 290 bucks. The unit itself is climate controlled. Only downside is there's no light. So we had to get creative. Ooh, yeah. So uh, you know what, let's do the customary. Let's show you what's in this unit and let's go from there. There you have it. So uh, this particular unit right here, like I said, washer, dryer, they sell for about five, $600 right now at Lowe's, brand new. They're in actually in pretty good condition. I don't even know if they've been used, but I'm gonna guess $200 each, should give us 400, should give us a profit on this unit. You know how we do it. So uh, let's just get our hands dirty. Let's just start going through stuff. Let's go through this one first. We've had pretty good luck with stuffed bears and stuff like that, so. All right, what else we got in here? A rabbit, <laughs> rabbit. So all of these bags, all of them, are basically just trash. You can basically tell it just looks like just trash. Nothing uh, to write home about, paper plates. So why somebody would leave trash like that in a unit? Either somebody bought this unit before and they left this and then they resold it. Or the facility said, let's get rid of our trash. Who knows but uh on the good side they're pretty light so i can just basically put them on the side of the curb and be done with them but uh like i said the main uh thing that we were looking at when we were buying this unit were going to be these two pieces they're actually like i said they're in pretty good shape you know they're the stainless steel bowls so you know they're the GE, so they're pretty good machines. All right, so one of the bikes we found in there, the Navigator 300 Trek. It's in pretty good shape. The tires just need to be reinflated because it's been sitting in storage. It's got a gear shift, built in light. The seat's a little worn, but you know. These bikes, they'll sell all day, every day for at least 50 or 100 bucks. Especially right now, since there's a shortage on bicycles, people tend to pay a little bit more for them. This is the other one. This one is a Innsbruck Comfort Series Huffy. 18 inch, 18 speed, I should say. But you can tell it's been there a while. It's got but you know, it's actually a pretty decent bike again. Tires just need air. Worst case scenario replaced, but I have a lot of tires that I can basically throw on these things. The seat on this one's actually really good, but it's a little more basic, more like a beach cruiser. But again, $50 bill, $50 bill, $50 bill all day long. 
All right, so in here, like I said, we've got the washer dryer. In here, there's also a barbecue grill. It's a next grill. It's actually a pretty good grill. Um, you know, you can tell it's been basically sitting outside. So you got to take these burners off and replace those. These parts themselves are fairly cheap. You buy them at any Walmart, but you can replace that. And then at that point, you've got a really good, well-built um, barbecue set. So. It's a 40 50 dollar note any day of the week after you clean it up and you make it look nice then we've got this right here really nice chair i don't really do much with furniture just because it's usually a pain but um this one here is it feels like alligator skin that type of leather so all right so we also have two of these so Basically, electronic wheelchair. You know, we'll have to test it just to make sure that the batteries and everything work on them. But these will sell. Usually, they sell anywhere between three and five hundred each, um, depending on the battery that it has and depending on the things that it has. And there's two in this unit. There's a uh, Jazzy 1103 Ultra. And this one. A little more used but still you know you got the horn and the movements and all the other things so as long as the batteries themselves are in good condition you'll get at least two three hundred at the very 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 least for these if the batteries are in good shape you can get up to about 500 for them used all right next we've got some kind of TV stand so that'll be a 20 30 dollar note all day long we've got some magic mover sliders a couple pillows and then we've got an ancient tv this thing is going to be a beast i'm not going to move it right now but ultimately so in most cases those types of tvs are really hard to get rid of um most dumps won't even take them so more than likely what i'll do is i'll just put it free or in the garage sale for a dollar if it works if it doesn't i might just basically um recycle it the only thing you can do and then there's some lamps and some other little loose end items there's also a little end table with glass you know looks like it's in pretty decent shape so it's actually a pretty decent and the glass on it is actually the glass on it is actually really well it's still in pretty good shape so it'll be a good table if I get 20, 30 bucks out of that. But you can see this TV. It's, it's I mean it's a big TV if it works. It might even be good to put like outside on the patio, you know. But uh that's pretty much it. This unit, like I said, it was 290 bucks. My gamble was that the washer and dryer themselves were gonna pay for the unit. I'm pretty sure they will. So everything else is basically just profit. If I can get those scooters or those uh electric wheelchairs um you know clean them up get them all whatever and then throw them up there that one there's a jazzy 600 um then you know we should basically at least double or triple our money on this unit but uh that's pretty much it short video like i said it's all big items so we didn't have boxes and things to go through but for 290 bucks i'm happy but uh we got this weekend we're going to uh be wrapping up the uh pizza unit so stay tuned for that if you haven't already subscribe click that little bell and um, you know you'll get notifications when we go but uh thanks for watching i'll see you soon